You're wearing your old engagement ring. I don't need another one. You know Liam can't marry you, right? I'm sure Liam intended to tell you himself. He's already married to me. The annulment was filed. I know, I'd, I didn't expect it either. What did you do, Hope? What did you do? So you're marrying Hope now. I knew that would not be easy for you to hear. Can't be easy for you to say, knowing what this is gonna do to my daughter. Why would you do that? Be because I've been paralyzed. By what your dad did to you. Doing to me. Present tense. And he's not doing it alone, and I want to be done with it. You want to be done with it? Poor Liam wants to be happy again. Don't. Yes, yeah. Poor Liam wants to be happy. And you think this is the way to do it? To give Bill what he wants? To let him take your life away from you? You think that's going to put you back on the road to happiness? Steffi's here. We'd better give them a few minutes. Does she know that Liam proposed to Hope? She will as soon as she sees that ring. You know what, maybe I should casually wander downstairs and see if Hope needs some rescuing. No, this day's been coming on a long time, Rick. Years, actually. We just need to let them hash it out once and for all. We were about to get back together. The annulment papers, they just, they just sat there. But you signed them. He didn't. Or did you talk him into it? The end of your marriage was not my doing. You lied to me. You lied. You said you would never try to break up my family. And you think I did that? What do you call stealing my husband? I call it what you did to me more than once. Rich, I... I, I have no control over what they do or what they don't do. I can only refuse to be a part of it. A part of what? Listen to yourself. There is no they. Oh, I know, I know. That's what you've thought all along. She I went over right. there to buy the house that you have been living in all these years because she wanted to get some distance between Bill and you. Ridge, I'm not living in that house again. I'm OK, I have an idea. Sell the house. Start over somewhere no, I would. I would rather live at a bus stop then know that she went to him and made plans with him and was alone with him in any room for any reason and then kept it a secret. And you've told her that. I, should I have to tell her that? You don't this think point? she deserves to know that? You don't like the way she handled something. All right, fair enough, but she's not having an affair with someone. Where are you getting that? I, from someone I trust who is in a position to know. Great. You, you, you wanted me to make this decision. You said what that. What I wanted was for you to make a good decision, not throw your life away, your kid's I'm not, life away. I'm not. How do you know that it's right what you know, you think you I'm know? I'm not throwing my life away. I'm not throwing my kid's life away. And and what, why, why am I trying to justify myself to you when you don't think Steffi can do any wrong by definition because she's your daughter? Oh, that's. There's a woman, there's one woman in my life right now whom I've known for years that I love, that I know I can trust, and I'm gonna marry her. And that's, that's all the information I believe I owe you. You gonna run away now? That's your answer. I. What do you have? Do you have more questions for me? Sure. How about this one? Why do you think my daughter has talked to you and has tried to get to you day after day to get you to come home and fix your broken marriage? Because we had a good life together. Sure did. We all thought that. And maybe she also doesn't want the hardship of being a single mother. The only hardship in all this, dear Liam, is a little girl that's gonna live in a house without her dad. No, no, no. Being with my dad makes it a hardship. Whatever it is he gives her is not respectability. <laughs> that's funny. After Why all is that these funny? It's funny because after all these years, you don't know my daughter at all. She doesn't care about respectability. If she wanted to be with Bill, she would be with Bill. She wants to be with you. And she's explained that to you ad, ad nauseum. 
And I think you understood it because you flooded her house with flowers because you wanted your future that back. That was before I knew. Before you knew what? You really think Steffi's that stupid she'd make the same mistake? The mistake that drove you away? What do you think? She's, she's gonna risk having someone see her climb into Bill's car or go into his bedroom, right? But, or whatever you think this is happening. I am not so good at reading Steffi's mind. Huh. That much is clear. All I have is the fact of where she goes and what she does when she gets there. All you have is what your dad is feeding you. God, every, everybody has something momentous to say, don't they? Everybody knows how I should live my life. It's amazing, it's, it's amazing. It's, I, I love, you know that I love your daughter. I can't help that. But she wants what she wants like everybody else. And what, what she wants, Ridge, I can't live with. I can't. Should we really be eavesdropping, Rick? Well, there's obviously no bloodshed because I can't hear a thing. Hope rarely raises her voice. Hope can stand up for herself. Yeah, she's had a lot of practice. Yeah, true enough. Too much and from too young an age. Oh, Mom. Hope doesn't blame you for anything. Honey, how could she? I mean, she couldn't afford to. I was the only person there for her entire life, but obviously that wasn't enough. Well, I'm gonna be there for her while she fights this fight. I fully support her future with Liam, and if that's what Hope wants, that's what she'll get. No matter what Steffi says. You want revenge. You're accusing me of stealing Liam, and yet I have to remind you about how you manipulated us over the years? Hope, we were practically children. Yeah, well, some memories never fade. So Liam files the annulment papers, and not even a day goes by, you already have a ring on your finger? Does that seem normal to you? Is that something a man in his right mind would do? So you're just gonna say yes when someone's asking you a question out of pain and anger? I don't have to waste my time wondering what Liam thinks or what Liam means because he tells me. And he wants back what we had and lost. Oh, that's funny because just yesterday he wanted me. He wanted to restart our lives together. And then something happened. He thought I crossed a line with Bill and it doesn't make sense. It does not make sense. Well, did it ever make sense? Look, Liam says that he's sure. Well, I didn't do anything, Hope. Did someone tell him something? I don't know, Liam didn't say anything about it and I didn't ask. Of course you didn't. You know, I thought you were a lot of things, but I never, never doubted your integrity until today. There is nothing that I have told you that oh, wasn't true. Hope, you are so thirsty. Take that ring off your finger. The only reason he proposed to you is because he's angry, hurt, and confused, and you know it. You've been messed with. Oh, we agree. Believe me, the thought of your perverted father's hands on my daughter's body makes my skin crawl. When I came back from Europe and I found out that Brooke had been with him, I, I, I just, I couldn't deal with it. I had to cut her out. And that was wrong because Brooke, like Steffi, they made a mistake. It doesn't make them strangers. It doesn't mean that these are all of a sudden people that we don't know anymore. They don't need us to just cut them out of our lives. They need us to to understand and forgive. And the last time I talked to you, you were doing that. And then something changed. <gasps> yeah, that's right. That's right. It was a lie. There is no Bill and Steffi, but Bill wants you to believe that. He wants you to think that this is what's happening. He wants to close every door to Steffi but his. Ridge, I keep on telling you, I wouldn't know what my father wants because I don't talk to him. Well, then he's arranged for someone else to do his talking. There are very few people on the planet I trust at this point. Well, whoever you're trusting in this situation, you gotta let them go. Because they're killing you. They're, they're making you throw away your life. They're painting a picture of something that you knew just yesterday was false. What do I do here? I, 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 I don't wanna argue with you. I didn't come here for advice, Ridge. Really? You didn't? I think you did. I think you want me to give you every reason why this story can't possibly be right. But I can't, I can't find the words I'm trying, but I can't do that right now. I will, 
Someone will, and someone will help you. But that means you have to do something. What? What? You gotta think, you gotta slow down. Don't marry Hope. Did Hope and Liam mention a date for the wedding? Not to me. Can we just all agree to put the brakes on if this comes up? Why? Yeah, Liam's a good guy. He's just he's notorious for changing his mind. You really think that's what happened? Liam kept changing his mind about Hope? Or do you think it was a barrage of horrible incidences that kept them apart? Well, I can't pretend to remember all the ins and the outs, but and I won't. Oh, Brooke, you have to admit, given the timing, it does feel kind of like a rebound. Well, not to me. I see it as two people who love each other very much. They finally have a chance to be together. Look, if, if Liam is only with me because of displaced feelings for you, then how big a challenge can I be? That, that is what you're saying, isn't it? I'm, I'm, talking, I'm talking from the perspective of a, of a happy marriage. We thought we were going to spend the rest of our lives together. Well, happy until... Until I almost destroyed us. We were about to get back together, and this miscommunication, it derailed us. You deserve love. You deserve a partner who's gonna love you and only you, not a man escaping a betrayal. And someday, Liam's gonna realize that it's not real, and when that happens, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna say to him? What are you gonna say to my daughter? What are you gonna say when you look in the mirror? You can't sign annulment papers with one hand and then slip a ring on your second choice with the other. Don't, don't call her that. Oh, I don't care what, listen. Why are you rushing into this? There's so much at stake. Is it because you're really that scared of being alone? Because I want my life back. I don't know, what do you want, what do you want from me? Being married feels right to me, all right? It, it, it gives me, it gives me strength. It gives me safety in everything that I do. It makes me the best version of me to have somebody at home who believes in me, who loves me, who I can trust with every secret and every flaw. And I, I haven't had it long, but I've had it long enough to know that I need it, Ridge. I need it. Well, if you need it, you should have your life back. But it's gonna be a different version of the life that you want, maybe. It's gonna be quaint and homey and sweet. You're not gonna have that same passionate connection you've always had with my daughter. I got another stop to make. Can I ask you some? Yeah. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do when they put your daughter in your arms for the first time? And then take her away from you because you live somewhere else. Marry Hope. In a year, six months, whatever. And you'll have my blessing. But let time heal you first. It will if you let it. I thought I heard Steffi's car leave. Oh, honey, it couldn't have been easy. She thinks I'm making a terrible mistake. Well, of course she does. She swears that um, there's nothing happening between Bill and her now. She is so like her mother. She keeps a secret until she can't anymore. Well, whether she's telling you the truth or not, that really shouldn't concern you. All that should matter is how you answer Liam's question. And you did already, so. Yeah, but is it too soon for him to be asking? Too soon for whom? Well, he has had very conflicting feelings. Honey, you're letting her get to your head. You are a sweet, honest, compassionate person that lets other people's pain weigh on them, even if it's from their own making. And you can't let somebody rule you for what they think is best for you, even if it's somebody that lives under this roof. I 
don't believe that Liam's feelings are conflicted. I don't believe that this marriage proposal was out of the blue or that it's a flight from reality. I just think it's a culmination of years of feelings and wishes and <sighs> disappointments out of your control. And I really think it would be best for both of you if you were to get married right away. What? Honey, you're going to have accusations and insults thrown at you. People are going to say, how dare you hope? How could you do that to that innocent little child? And you know what? That child would fare better with all of us than with Bill and Steffi. Look, I don't want to lose you to Europe again. I don't. Why don't you just stay here and have the wedding here? Really, I can make it beautiful. You'd be surrounded by the people who love you and who support you. And I will talk to Ridge about it, okay? Don't worry. I just think it's time for you and Liam. Really, you need to finally get married and be together as soon as possible. Can't stay. All right. I just, um, uh, well, I, th I thought that I should let you know that I propose to hope. I'm sorry. Call it off. <gasps> Steffi. You want me to say congratulations are in order? This isn't fair to us. And it isn't fair to hope. All right, well, maybe I shouldn't have come. I don't know. Why now? Can you just tell me that? Because I can't, I can't keep living this way. That's why. Can you just wait till the baby is born? What, what difference is that gonna make? Let's just find out. She'll be here before we know it. What you want now may not be what you want later. So, if you're gonna marry Hope, please do it after our baby is born. <laughs>